three, two, one. Hello everyone, welcome to my new hobby, video making. This uh, video is about uh, grilling steak, but actually it is not about grilling steak. It is about making the video itself. This is a new hobby to me, so everything else is new. Uh, I found out that it's not as easy as it, uh, I thought. First thought that, you know, just take a bunch of shots of uh, clip, video clip, and then just slap them back together, and then that's it. I and mean, that's how we do it back in the day. Uh, but then I found out that the audio on the uh, on the original clip is just horrible. So uh, my attempt to do a voiceover uh, with the studio equipment, and uh, this is what uh, this is what we're gonna come up with. Okay, so sit back and enjoy. Okay, take two. Start out with the uh, real nice cut, about two inch thick, and let me see here. Liber liberal butter on top as you can see waiting for the steak to get temperature room temperature and then um, we're going to uh, put it on the grill this is about two inch thick ribeye so that last clip as you can see that was the original soundtrack on it and uh, this is the one with the voiceover soundtrack you tell me which one is better so we start out with a two inch thick uh, piece of ribeye with bone in. I like them thick. The thicker they are, the better it is for the cooking. That way you can set up the caramelization on the outside without burning the meat in the inside. Uh, so basically uh, the only thing I have is just butter on top and crushed pepper and let it sit until room temperature before we throw it on the grill. Alright, looks like the charcoal is ready. We're going to use a Smoky Joe grill this time. Instead of firing up the big barbecue, we're only going to do one big hunk of steak. We're empty nester now, so I think my wife and I, can we can split this steak without any problem at all. I don't think we can handle anything bigger than this. Uh, so, here we go. Okay, the, no, the meat goes on. Very high heat. You want, uh, you want the flame to uh, really caramelize the meat. You notice that uh, there's a little area on the side there I left without the charcoal, and that is the cool area. So when things get a little bit too hot, you can you have an area to move your meat to to slow down the cooking process. That way you don't rush and you don't burn up the the meat uh, while the inside is still um, red. All right, so I took the meat off of the fire. Now, while even if it's off the fire, it's still cooking inside. So if you want it rare, pull it out to about 110 degrees. Use a thermometer. Uh, I pull mine 125 because I want my medium, and if you want them well, about 130, 135. This is a thick cut, so I pull it out by 125, and I'm going to let it rest. But there is one more important step, very important, the finishing up the, 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 the steak is the call uh, we call it steak butter that's all but usually what it is is it melted butter involves some kind of garlic um fresh or powder but fresh is better you ground them up in there and then and then my secret ingredients is anchovies so you ground some anchovies in there and you'd be surprised how many restaurants that got, that's how they got their flavor and then a few more things uh, secret things or herb spice that you like and pour it on top let the let the butter sits on top. It will reconstitute with the juice, get soaked into the meat while the meat's sitting there, or, or what the process they call resting. But actually, it's still cooking. The meat uh, sits there, and the juice reconstituted back inside. And when you start cutting it out about 15 minutes from now, it's going to be a very, very tasty and juicy steak. Trust me. Okay, so we plate the uh, steak right now. I'm fixing to cut it up to be real juicy and tender. So here is the end product. Let me tell you, this is one juicy steak. A tad bit overdone, more than I like to, but it still had that pink strip in there. Very juicy, very tasty. It's been fun making this video. I tell you, it's a lot of fun, and the steak is delicious in itself. So... This has been a Fullmeister Media production, all right reserved. See you in the next movie.